Hi, Tony, KD8RTT here, and today I want to show you how to set up an APRS eye gate. Now, if you're not familiar with APRS, I suggest you do a quick Google search. There's a lot of information out there about it, and it would take me way too long to explain it all here. But basically, an eye gate is used to take packets received via RF and upload them to the internet. To get started, you're going to need two pieces of hardware, a computer and some sort of receiver that can receive to the two meter band. Here in the States, the frequency we use is 144.39 megahertz, but that varies by region of the world. So again, if you're not from the United States, do a quick search online. In my case, I'm using an old scanner I have, but you could just as well use an extra two meter rig you have laying around. Again, you'll just be receiving, so you won't need the transmit side of things. The computer you use doesn't matter too much, as long as it has an internet connection and some sort of audio in port. Connecting the equipment is as simple as connecting your antenna to your receiver, your receiver's audio out, or in my case a headphone out jack, to the audio in, in my case a microphone in jack, on the computer. Now you're ready to set up the software. Okay, you're going to need to download two pieces of software. The first is the AGW Packet Engine, from the link on the screen, and the second is the APRS ISCE-32 software, uh, also from the link on your screen. We're going to first set up the AGW Packet Engine. So go ahead and open that. You're going to want to agree. You're going to have to go down here to your bar. Right-click and go to Properties. It's going to pop open this. You want to go new port. It's going to say you must restart the program, but then it'll pop up this window. So here, you want to name the port. Um, I'll just call it 144.390. And select your TNC type. Now here we're going to be using a sound card. So select sound card. It'll open this window. Most of the settings you're going to leave the same, except for you have to select a sound card. Um, I actually have two sound cards. I'm going to be using the USB one. Okay. Hit OK. You have to restart it. So go down here again, right click, exit, and then reopen the packet engine. So now the packet engine is set up. Now that allows your computer sound card to act as a modem with the radio. So now it's time to set up the APRS software itself. Now I've run this before, so let me delete some of those files. You're going to open this up, it's going to pop up this window. You're going to want to enter in your call sign. For passcode, you're going to need to send an email to this address saying you're, you need a passcode uh, for APRS and this software, the APRS ISCE32. Um, you're going to need to give them your call sign and your name, and within a few hours you should get a password. And you're going to enter that and hit accept. Okay, once the program opens, uh, the first thing I suggest you doing is suggest you do is hit the right arrow key about ten times. That's just gonna set up the map uh, a little, little bit nicer. And then you're gonna have to drag and zoom in on your current location. So I'm up here in northern, northeastern Ohio. All right. Once you're zoomed in your location, you're gonna go up here and hit transmit. So now you are on the APRS network uh, via the internet. If you notice on your on the left hand of the screen down here. It'll have some stations, including your own. Those are stations that are being received via the internet. Um, you, you, the RF part has not been set up yet, but we'll go ahead and do that now. So you're going to go up to Configure, down to Ports, New Port. Your type is going to be AGW, and your name is going to be, uh, you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to name it Scanner, since that's what I'm using uh, on the RF receiver. All right, so you're going to use TCP IP. For the IP, you're going to want 127.0.0.1, and you're going to be using port 8000. All right, when this pops up, um, since we're just an eye gate and we're not transmitting anything via RF, you can deselect IS to RF and transmit enable, and hit accept. So now your eye gate should mostly be set up. And that's it. You successfully set up an APRS eye gate. Now, if you'd like to see these specific packets that you've been responsible for uploading to the system, go to a website like APRS.fi and search for your call sign, and you'll find them listed there. Well, that's it. So 73, and thanks for watching.